These are the top 10 reasons why Senate President Bukola Saraki lost the 2019 senatorial election. Defection to the PDP In 2018, Senator Bukola Saraki defected from the APC to the PDP. Many believe Saraki defected in order to nurse his presidential ambition, which he eventually lost to Atiku. Saraki's defection put him at odds with the ruling APC and ultimately cost him a seat in the Senate. If Saraki had remained in the APC, he would have easily coasted to victory in the 2019 senatorial polls. The Saraki did not defect. The Saraki family has controlled the reins of Kwara state politics for over two decades. Olushola Saraki, the patriarch of the Saraki family, enjoyed two terms in the Nigerian Senate. Bemisola Saraki, Bukola Saraki's sister, has served one term in the House of Representatives and two terms in the Senate. Bukola Saraki served two terms as the governor of Kwara state and two terms as a senator. And in 2019, it appears the Kwara electorate decided they have had enough of the Saraki family. Corruption allegations. In 2016, Bukola Saraki faced an 18-count charge of false asset declaration by the Code of Conduct Tribunal. The Supreme Court, however, cleared Saraki of all charges in 2018. The corruption allegations levelled against Saraki perhaps swung the voting pendulum against him. Of a bank robbery. In June 2018, Bukola Saraki was accused of sponsoring a gang of robbers in Ofa, Kwara State. The robbers raided five banks and killed 17 in the process. Saraki denied all allegations levelled against him. Perhaps the Kwara electorate was not sufficiently convinced of his innocence. Unpaid salaries. Kwara State workers have long been unhappy over the issue of unpaid salaries. People affected include teachers, local government officials and pensioners, among others. While Saraki is not the current governor, he was influential in the election of the Kwara State governor, Abdul Fattah Ahmed. Saraki's closeness with Ahmed means that he is seen as a major decision maker in Kwara and privy to the issues plaguing the state. Religious sentiments Ethno-religious sentiments play a major role in Nigeria voter behavior. In Kwara, a deeply religious, predominantly Muslim state, many reportedly question the Islamic faith of Saraki. Many believe Saraki lies about being a Muslim to gain the support of the Ilarian people, especially as Saraki's sister is said to be a Christian. His wife Tony is a Christian and his daughter Tosi married a Christian. These issues greatly influence voting behavior in Kwara. The Bemi Saraki effect. The long reign of the Saraki family in Kwara has not been without its downsides. Two-term Senator Gwimisola Saraki has been at war with her brother Bukola Saraki over his refusal to support her governorship ambition in 2011. Bimisola attempted to succeed her brother as governor, however, Bukola chose to support Governor Ahmed Abdul Fattah instead. Bemi Saraki is now a prominent member of the Buari campaign organization and is likely to have split the vote between APC and PDP in Kwara Central 2019 polls. Hotelgate Revolt Ibrahim Olori Egbe, who defeated Saraki to emerge winner of the Kwara Central Sanitary Elections, coasted to victory on the Otoge Mantra. Otoge, which translates to enough is enough, was an election strategy which meant that the Kwara people had enough of the Saraki family. The mantra gathered momentum in the state and eroded Olori Egbe as the new face of Kwara politics and gave the APC the boost it needed. Alleged illegal salaries. In 2016, the Code of Conduct Tribunal accused Bukola Saraki of receiving salaries from the Kwara State government despite stepping down as governor in 2011. There were also reports of obscene pension entitlements accruing to the Senate president. The negative perception of Saraki in the state was influential in his 2019 loss. Federal Mines Throughout Bukola Saraki's 16-year political reign, he never contested against the ruling government until 2019. However, the absence of federal might in Saraki's 2019 race exposed the Saraki camp to the loss it suffered. Shamakal Hakim, Roots TV, Nigeria.